Um, what's pretty cool is that there's like a lot of uh, like influencers now that post a bunch of like cool fitness videos and it looks like everyone's pretty much fucking eight pack shredded ripped. That's awesome. Uh, however they got to that point is really cool. I always, you know, I run into people that are, man, I saw this video like of this girl or this guy that is doing this workout. Let's try this or. And, you know, they're, like, nowhere near that influencer or that fitness enthusiast, which is great. Like, social media definitely, you know, I'm, I'm inspired by social media a lot. I, I think I, I find inspiration in, like, a lot of cool stuff that's on social media, like, on, for, like, fitness enthusiasts or whatever, influencers. And it's really cool. Um, but it does take time for you to, like, step back and scale where you're actually at and, you know, really... Really focus on your goals and how do you want to get to those goals. Like kind of think about where you're at right now and think about where you want to be. And if you're looking at someone as like an example, you know, as motivation or inspire you, then that's badass. But don't get caught up in how social media tells you how you should look or how you should feel and how you should perform. That's, that's part of your journey to learn, to grow, get stronger. Whatever is the goal is, I, me personally, I never really cared about being the strongest or the fastest in the room. I only cared about being better than I was yet, yesterday. And if I still happen to get stronger and faster during the process, then that's part of my journey. And that made me appreciate it a lot more because, you know, I embraced every step, whether it was hard or easy. It was my journey. So don't let social media tell you how you should feel, look, or perform. Just embrace the journey and watch that shit fucking take off. Crazy. Peace.